Hi you guys. So hopefully this isn't ridiculously awkward because it's been like 12 million years since I made a video. Um, essentially to get you guys up to speed, um, I moved home, been in Dallas, been working, um, doing that whole like boring life thing. Um, but it's about time I get back into this. So I figured it's already like a week or something into October, but everybody loves favorites videos. And you guys haven't really seen what I've been using. Um, some of it's new, some of it's really old favorites that I've gone back to. Obviously I have no makeup on right now. It's like 10.30 at night and I was like upstairs and I was like, shit, I can't sleep, I'll make a video. Yeah. So, I guess I'll just get started. I have a bunch of crap to show you guys. Where should I start? I'll start with nails because that's easiest and there's the fewest of them. There's only been like three colors I've been wearing. I'm actually wearing two of them right now, but you can't see. Oh, there you go. Okay, so the red that I have on is the Sally Hansen Diamond Strength in 460 Save the Date. And it's like a really pretty, like, folly, Christmassy red. Then the gold that I have on my ring fingers is Good as Gold from the SE Metallics collection, which I saw at CBS today, so it's still out. And then the last one is this really pretty blue that's also SE that's called Aruba Blue. And it's just like a royal blue. I don't know. It's the worst description ever. It's got it's not a cream though, it's it's like a metallic y blue. These two look really good together, too. Um, and both of these are one coaters. Like, I only have one coat on my nails because I'm lazy. Then I guess we'll just work our way through my routine. Um, as far as skincare goes, ju we just got a huge cold front, so everything that I was using previously for summer got replaced with my um, winter kind of skincare regime. Um, and I went back to using my Dior Capture, what is this one? R6080. These I bought in France before I left, but I think it's out in the States now. So I use, well I use four of them, but one of them I don't have with me. At night, first I use the Overnight Recovery Serum. This stuff is not cheap, um, but for dry skinned people, it's really awesome. It's technically for anti-aging, but dry skin and aging skin um, have similar properties and problems. So this works really well. And then I use the Wrinkle Correction Night Cream. And then the day cream that I have, it, it's the it's just the Ultimate Wrinkle Correction Cream. It's the day cream that's in the R6080 line. However, this comes in two um, formulas. It comes in a regular, like, I don't know what the regular one is called, but the one that I use is the Rich Texture one. And I can actually show you the difference in these two. Okay, so this one is more, I hope it doesn't like fall out. This one is, this one is a really thick cream. Like it's, um, like you can see it's like, it like peaks on my fingers. This one is more of like a gel texture. Um, if I get really dry spots at night, I will put the day cream just where it, I need it. And then I also use the eye cream that goes with those. I'm already five minutes in this video. That's great. Um, lips, I'm back to using my Dior Creme de Rose. This one I got like a month ago. <laughs> Um, I've probably gone through 10 of these. It's my favorite. Um, I love Bomb de Rose by um, 
by Terry. But one, it's really hard for me to get here, and two, it's more expensive than this, and honestly, I like the thickness of this better for nighttime. Then my other random little thing, this guy has been through so much. Um, I got it from Jess from Getting Cheeky um, quite a while ago in a swap that we did, but it's the Lolia, I guess is how you say it, Classic Petal Hand Cream. I've been like siphoning this shit like I only use it when my hands are really dry because I love it so much and I don't know where to get it um but it's awesome okay I guess we'll do face skin stuff as far as primers go I'm not really using a primer these days um I wasn't liking what my Tom Ford was doing anymore, although I still have it sitting in my makeup bag. Um, I do use from time to time the Hourglass number 26 or whatever, their new serum. But I have to be really careful because um, even though I don't have oily skin throughout the day, I find if I use too much of that, it makes my skin look oily. So foundations of choice. I'm using a combination because my skin is back to being deathly pale. Um, I either use the Urban Decay Naked Skin. I'm in the color one, no surprise, or my Lancome Tent Idol Ultra 24 and I am in the color 010. Um, but then, depending on which one I want, this is obviously a heavier, long-lasting coverage. This one is a sheer, a lot like H, uh, Makeup Forever HD. Um, but I mix both of them with the Kogendo Moisture Foundation in 001, which lightens both of them up and also gives them a creamier texture, um, which I like. I'm gonna have to get this. The Barney's in Dallas is just announced that they're closing and it's the only place that I can get um, this brand in person. So I'll have to stock up on those. And then because it's fall, um, but Dallas weather is crazy, I've still been setting my foundation with powder and my powder of choice, I've gone back to using my Chanel um, Natural Finish Loose Powder in 22 Rose Claire which is kind of the peachy one. Um, sometimes I think that it gives me a strange color, but I really like the finish. I need to just get it in translucent, essentially. <laughs> um, and then, as far as concealer goes, the only one that I've been using, and this thing has lasted me for freaking ever. I've been using it since May. It's the Dolce & Gabbana um, perfect finish concealer in the color two. This is like, it comes in a pen like this. Mine's all nasty and dirty because I use mine every day. Um, this is like what Touche Clot used to be, but even more pigment than that. Um, it's great. I really love it. Um, I use the Sephora HD concealer brush with it, which they recently replaced with this nasty, like cheap looking freaking brush which I don't even know if I'm gonna buy but I have like three of those so it's okay but I essentially just like take it I start all the way up here because I get dark circles like right around my nose um and then I just take it down and then blend it out with that or my finger if I'm in a hurry and then I guess we'll do cheeks really fast because there's only like two. oh I set the Dolce & Gabbana with the Laura Mercier, I mean Laura Mercier, the Le Metier, um, Eye Brightening and Setting Powder and Refresh, which you guys have seen 10 million times. This one's got a massive dip in it because I use it every day. And cheeks, there's really only two things that I'm using right now. If I'm in the mood for a cream, I'm using MAC Brit Wit, which I actually have right here, but you guys know what that looks like. It's their cream blend in... It's like a, it's like the same color as what I'm about. Oh, okay. Also an article said Jeff and Emily have called off their, my grandmother's texting me bachelor news. Um, 
what's his face Ben and Courtney broke up and apparently Jeff and Emily have broken up too so essentially there's no hope for the Bachelor franchise but I will still watch my other blush is my Tarte uh, 24 hour Amazonian clay long wear whatever the hell this thing is called and exposed which you guys saw me wear all last fall and winter and then I don't think you guys have seen this yet actually although maybe you have um it's dirty as hell my highlighter of choice and really the only highlighter that i'm using these days is the kevin aquan candlelight which looks like this it's perfection um i've never found a highlighter that i like more than this i use it all over the place um a lot i mean a little goes a really long way i use either a fan brush or the uh, duo fiber like blush brush from Sigma um, but I do the top of my cheekbones I do my brow I do my cupid's bow if I'm going out I'll do like along the bridge of my nose a little bit on my chin and my forehead I mean it's just great it looks like the gods are shining magical rays of light on you or some shit I don't know mm -hmm. we'll do lips I guess Two of them, I'm a fucking idiot and left my other favorite lip combination in my purse because I use every day, but so be it. It's finally gotten cold here again, and that means that I can wear red lips again. So I have brought out my two favorites, which are both from, I think it was Girl on Fall last year. Is it fall? I don't know. But they are Gigolo which looks like this. It's like a burgundy. Um, and then the other one is Garçon, which is a very like true bright red, like cherry red kind of. Um, essentially, these are way fucking cooler than the new Marilyn Monroe lipsticks, which I think are kind of cheesy. Everybody's fucking obsessed with them and I just think that that shit's trashy. <laughs> Usually underneath them, this is gonna sound almost oxymoronic because those are like $50 lipsticks and this is like a $8 lip stain. Um, but this is the CoverGirl Outlast and this is what I use underneath those. Almost like you would a lip liner. Uh, it just makes them last longer. And essentially I fill in my entire lip with this and then kind of pat whatever color I'm using on top of it. Um, this one is 402, which I think has Scarlet in the name or something, but this one's out. I just bought a new one like that. So then if I'm doing neutral lips, I actually don't have the two, but I do have two other colors because I'm obsessed with this brand and it's Bite Beauty. Um, their lipsticks all look like this, which is really cool. Um, this one's in the color Shiraz, which is also a really great color for fall. It's like a, I don't know, a dark neutral color. It's right there. It's looking red on here. It's really not red at all. Um, but the one that I'm really loving is the lipstick in the color Kava. And then their, what is this called? Their Lip Shine in Vintage. Vintage I will wear by itself. I've already gone through, I got one of the mini tubes in some sampler or something um but i've already gone through that mini tube and another mini tube and so then i just bit, bought a big one this one though is pink grapefruit which is also a really great color i love these because they're super moisturizing and fantastic and i need to hurry the fuck up as always nothing has changed nothing um I guess we'll do like mascaras and shit really quick because there's not very many. I've been using the same mascara combination every single fucking day. I start with my Shoot Umera eyelash curler, which will probably always be my favorite. Um, unless something comes out with something really revolutionary, which I doubt. But I use the Dior Show Maximizer underneath. But I have to do this one eye at a time. If I let this dry, I don't like the result. So... I do one quick coat of this, and then I do one coat of the Power Volume Collagen from, who does this? I don't even know who the hell does this. Um, L'Oreal, it's the same people who did 
um, voluminous carbon black. Um, the brush is really big and fluffy and just makes my lashes look amazing. And then as far as eyeliners go, um, in my waterline every day I use Benefit's um, Eye Bright. I've gone through two of these. It's your standard like pinky white brightening color. You can also use it anywhere else you want. Really like a highlighter. You can use it here or your Cupid's bow. Shit like that. I don't but. Um, and then my Lorac front of the line pro because I'm wearing a lot of red lips. I've been doing a lot of cat eyes. Um, these are still my favorite. I have two with me right now because um, I use them every single day. We're getting there. This isn't too long. Um, eyeshadows. If I'm going for like a super quick, like I'm fucking lazy and trying to get out the door look, I use these two babies. I use, um, these are by Terry, the Ombre Black Stars. Um, I think that's what they're called. Yeah. Sorry, I've been out. I haven't done this in a while. This one is number three, Blonde Opal, which is like a champagne-y all over kind of color, um, which I just blend in with my fingers. And then I take Misty Rock, which is number five, which is like a taupey color. And that's right there. And I blend that onto my lid and into my crease a little bit and then down here, like on my lower lash line. Usually with that awful brush that came with the Naked 2 palette. The flat side is actually really good for blending Misty Rock out and bringing it down here because it's got a really like skinny flat edge. And then there's a couple palettes I've been using. You guys are going to hate me because one of, well, two of these are limited edition. One of them you can still get. One of them you can't. The one that you can't is the Lancome Color Design. Um, I got this one last year. It's in the color violet sweetheart but it looks like this and it's really hard to see the colors because my lighting is terrible but um it's got this kind of like pinky mauvey color that i use all over and then it's got this like champagne -y color that i use on my lid i use this like matte gray to define the crease um and then under the lash line and then this sucker which you can't tell, but it's actually like an indigo with crazy bronze sparkles, is probably the most pigmented shadow, liner, whatever you want to call it that I've ever used. I freaking love this thing. Um, and yeah, so when I don't want to like fuck with trying to figure out, figure out combinations, I always go to this. Although for whatever reason, I don't ever use this color. I don't know why. Maybe I'll use that on my lid next time. It's pretty. Um, then, uh, if I'm doing cat eyes, I've been using two colors and neither of these are going to surprise you. One of them, well, actually one of them you can't even, one of them I got in a swap. These are Mac, by the way, obviously. Um, this one is called Next to Nothing. Um, mine has sample packaging on it because I got it in a swap, but it's just like a shimmery it's not even shimmery it's like sheeny skin color and then my third grand entrance which i've been using on the lid and in the inner corners um which is still one of my all-time favorites one that i've I think i've talked about before uh the lorac unzipped palette which is like naked but i like these colors better um, I don't use this one as much now, though, because I have these other two. One of them is Too Faced's The Return of Sexy palette, which looks like this. Um, these shadows have the most amazing formula on them. They're super creamy. They're all kinds of wonderful. I just, I really, really, really like them. I don't really use this set as much which is for kind of like the traditional there you go the traditional smoky eye um I do use this one in the crease and on the lid sometimes but I do use this one a whole lot and then I use 
this color, um, which is like a purpley, taupey color. Let me. These feel like butter. Like they're they're kind of creamy. I don't even know how to describe them. But there that is. You're not really gonna be able to see it, but it's like a pretty purpley taupe. Then. I guess this is my last thing. Wow, this isn't so bad. Is the Lorac Pro palette, um, which looks like this. It has a lot of really teeny ones. What I love though, is that these top ones are all matte. And these bottom ones are all shimmer. And I mean, there's varying degrees of shimmer. Some of them have like big chunky glitter in them, but the top ones are all mattes. So you get a really wide variety of mattes and shimmers in one palette for a really great price considering that these look small, but there's actually quite a bit in them. Um, I mean, this is 8.8 .8 grams worth of eyeshadow, which is a lot. Um, the colors that I really like, I love this cream color. It's like exactly my skin color. I love pewter, which is right here. Um, this light bronze I've used on my sisters a ton and the the black is really great just the like matte black and then this deep purple color are both really good for eyeliners and I guess that's it other favorites um I've been well first of all I'm trying to grow my hair back out it's super long right now um but it's also, I'm going back to my natural color, which you can see here, and then, anyways. I'm rocking the Demi Lovato two-toned bun look, essentially. If you guys watch X Factor, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, anyways, that is all. It has been wonderful. This is kind of weird, talking to myself again. Um, but I've missed you all. And I promise I will start getting back into this. Um, life is kind of calming down now, a little bit. So that is all for now. Hopefully I will see you guys soon. Bye.